the RISE duct and multi-cable transit sealing system provides a simple yet effective solution to all fire, gas and watertight sealing requirements. It only consists of two components, rubber insert sleeves and FIWA, a silicon-based fire-resistant and water-repelling sealant. So the system is quick and easy to install, saving time and money for the installer. In addition, RISE is WIMES approved and ensures compliance with the new DAZIA regulations for zoned areas. The product itself has an exceptional pedigree. It was principally developed for use in the extremely demanding environment of naval warship building. It's being used in the most advanced ships for the Royal Navy, the Type 45 destroyer, being built by Bosper Thornycroft and BAE Systems. The ride system was also employed on the luxury yacht, the Mirabella 5, the world's largest single-masted sloop, its mast being 90 meters tall. The system is now increasingly finding uses in the civil engineering sector. It's being used in the new Terminal 5 at Heathrow Airport. Power cables from the substation have been sealed against water, gas and fire ingress. The London Underground has made extensive use of the system. Contractors say that it's easier and quicker to install and is also more flexible and reliable than any other system on the market. Petrochemical plants, water and power utilities are following suit and taking advantage of the RISE duct and multi-cable transit sealing system. Let's take a look at the product in action at a water treatment plant operated by Southern Water in West Sussex. In addition to the pre-packed rise kit, you'll need a few simple tools to complete the job. These include a solvent cleaner, water sprayer, electrical tape, wooden section and a cutting tool. Remember to wear the protective nitrile gloves included in the pack and we also recommend the use of safety glasses. Start by adding a tiny drop of liquid soap to the water sprayer and give it a good shake. Our first example is in the open air with two sets of electrical cables going into the ground. The installer begins by cleaning the cables and the duct with the solvent. This is to ensure that the sealant adheres properly to both the cables and the duct. The cables then have rise sleeves placed around them. The sleeves are 60 millimeters in length. Electrical tape can be used to tie a bundle of sleeves together. This bundle is used to fill the largest free space in the penetration. Individual sleeves are then inserted around the cables to fill the remaining small gaps. These sleeves are packed in tightly to ensure there are no gaps left and to prevent the sleeves falling into the penetration. Note how the rise sleeves are inserted above the penetration, then pushed down together inside the penetration, preventing the sleeves from dropping. The sleeves are adjusted to give 20 millimeters of free space below the top of the penetration. This space is left to allow the application of the FIWA sealant. FIWA is applied in between and around the cables first. And then over the rest of the penetration. It's important to check that the sealant has made a good contact with the cables. This is achieved by moving the cables and ensuring that the sealant is adhering to it. The cloth that's included in the pack is sprayed on both sides with the water. After squeezing to remove the excess fluid, the cloth is used to push down the sealant. Because the cloth is damp, the sealant doesn't stick to it. 
The hands are then sprayed and the sealant is smoothed off, paying particular attention to the area around the cables. The end result is a very neatly sealed penetration. The second penetration is sealed in the same way. After sleeving the single cable, the free space is packed with a taped bundle and then individual sleeves as before. Note the use of long nosed pliers to adjust the sleeves to give a uniform depth of 20 millimeters. The sealant is applied. Adhesion is checked. The sealant is pushed down with the cloth and smoothed off by hand to finish the job. This next example is into concrete. The penetration is first cleaned with a stiff wire brush and then a paintbrush to ensure there's no dust to impede the sealant. Wear stout gloves for this part of the process. After a change of gloves, the cables and pipe are cleaned. The cable tie is cut to allow sleeving of the cables. Two bundles of sleeves are produced to pack the free space. Followed by individual sleeves. The sleeves are adjusted to give the 20 millimeter depth. Once again, pliers are used. The sealant is applied. And to improve the access to the back of the cables, a longer nozzle has been fitted. As before, the dampened cloth pushes the sealant down. And the job is finished by smoothing off with damp hands. Our last example is an interior penetration inside a motor control center. Even though the penetration is horizontal this time, the process is the same. The cable tie is cut to allow cleaning of the cables and the duct. The cables are sleeved using two sleeves for the larger ones. Individual sleeves are then inserted to pack the free space. The FIWA sealant is applied in the usual way, and it's worth noting that the sealant adheres just as well when applied to a vertical surface or even overhead. The sealant is pushed in with a damp cloth. By folding it over and sliding it between the cables, all the sealant is pushed into place. Finally, the penetration is smoothed off in the usual way. We asked the site foreman, Gareth Evans, what he thought about the RISE system. We used to use block cable transit systems to seal between zoned areas. We found it very impractical and time consuming to install. The RISE cable transit system is much quicker and more flexible, making it easier to achieve an effective gas and water tight seal. RISE is also easier to re-enter to add future cables. We'll be using RISE across all future southern water sites. An important advantage of the RISE system is the ability to add or remove cables at a later stage without disassembling the whole penetration. To remove a cable from the RISE system, cut around the cable with a plastic knife. The plastic knife prevents any damage to the cables. Then, simply draw out the cable from the penetration. The rest of the penetration remains unaffected. 
The resulting hole can be used to pass a new cable. Or, as seen here, is simply sealed off with the FIWA sealant. Adding a cable is just as straightforward. A hollow punch is used to push into the 20 mm sealant layer. The removed sealant remains inside the punch to create an opening for the new cable. Remove as much sealant as needed to allow the new cable or cables through the penetration. The new cable is pulled through an empty sleeve. FIWA sealant is used to seal the free space around the cable and is then smoothed in the usual way. It's simple, quick and cost effective. As we showed, RISE is a simple and effective way to seal ducts to prevent the ingress of fire, gas and water. A product with a proven track record across a large variety of industries around the world. Should you wish to find out more about the benefits that CSD products can bring your project, please contact your local distributor or representative. Also, remember to consult the installation drawings and instructions prior to installation. And if in any doubt, please don't hesitate to contact us. We're happy to help with any aspects of your project.